guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the M9 multifunctional charger by Toolkitter C. The first battery charger which is equipped with customizable voice features. I find it ironic that I'm reviewing this charger while I'm a little bit out of voice myself, but unfortunately the M9 is not equipped with a self-reviewing feature, so hopefully I will be able to make it till the end of this quick video in which I'm going to go over the features and specs of this new battery charger. So yet again, I've got for you another new product by Toolkit RC. The M9, as I mentioned in the intro to this video, is a multifunctional charger, which means that in addition to charging your batteries, it will also enable you to measure and output PPM, PWM, and SBUS signal, and fast charge your mobile devices. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box, along with the M9 charger, you're getting a quick start guide, a screen protector, and the USB Type-A to USB Type-A cable. Using this USB cable, once the M9 charger is connected to your computer, two flash drives are going to be discovered. The Toolkit RC drive is used for updating the firmware of the charger, and the second one is used for accessing the contents of the included 256MB microSD card, which is preloaded with voice packs in different languages. As for the specs of the M9 multifunctional charger, the supported DC input voltage is between 7 to 35 volts, the maximum output power is 600 watts, the maximum output current is 20 amperes, the balance current is 1 ampere, the USB Type-A and USB Type-C ports are used for fast charging mobile devices, they support most of the recent fast charging protocols, the maximum output power of the USB Type-A connector is 18 watts, the maximum output power of the USB Type-C connector is 65 watts. It can be used to both measure and output PWM, PPM, and SBUS signal. And when used as a power supply, the maximum output power is 600 watts. The maximum output current can be set to in between 0.1 to 20 amperes. And the output voltage can be set to in between 1 to 35 volts. As for using the M9 charger, on its back side you can find an XT60 battery connector which is used for powering it up. The supported DC input voltage, as I just mentioned before, is between 7 to 35 volts. Next to it you can find a micro SD card slot. The M9 charger comes with a 256 MB micro SD card, so in case you'd like to, you can customize the boot screen and also the different voice packs. And over here you can find the speaker. On the right side of the charger you can find pretty big ventilation holes and on its left side a fan which is going to start working when the internal temperature is going to get too hot. On its top side there is a 2.4 inch color LCD screen with an adjustable angle of up to 80 degrees. Navigating between the different options and setting up the charger are done using the exit slash function button and using the clickable roller wheel. On the front side of the charger, you can find XT60 and balance ports, which are used for charging up to 8S batteries. Next to the XT60 battery connector, you can find an LED, which is going to indicate the battery charging status. Over here, covered by a plastic protector, you can find servo input and output ports, which are used for outputting and measuring SBUS, PWM, and PPM signals. Over here you can find USB Type-C and USB Type-A ports which support most of the recent charging protocols and will enable you to fast charge your mobile devices. Both can be used simultaneously. The maximum output power of the USB Type-C port is 65 watts and the maximum output power of the USB Type-A port is 18 watts and the USB Type-A port, as I've shown you before, can also be used for updating the firmware of the charger and for accessing the contents of the microSD card. In addition, the M9 charger weighs 244.4 grams, and here you can see what it looks like next to the M7 charger, so it is not as compact as this small charger, but it triples its output power, doubles its output current, and will enable you to charge up to 8S batteries, whereas the M7 charger supports up to 6S batteries. Once powered up, the logo, which you can customize, is going to be displayed on the screen of the M9 charger, and the startup sound, which you can customize as well, is going to be played through its speaker. 
Long pressing the function button is going to take you to the accessibility menu where you'll be able to use the different functions of the charger, including measuring and outputting PPM, PWM, and SBUS signal, test ESCs, use the M9 charger as a power supply, and monitor the status of the USB ports. Short pressing the function button is going to take you to the previous menu, and long pressing the water wheel is going to take you to the setup menu where you'll be able to adjust the different options of the charger. Each time that you are going to hover over an option, its information is going to be read out loud by the charger, and this feature can be turned off using the settings menu. Warning volume. Currently, the only supported languages that are going to be read out loud by the charger are English and Chinese, and you can customize this option using the SD card, so you'll need to replace the files which are located under the folder of each language, and you can also customize your startup logo by creating a 320 by 240 pixels BMP file, name it logo.bmp, and place it under the logo folder in the root folder of the microSD card. As for the battery charging procedure, it is pretty much identical to previous chargers that I've covered by Toolkitter C, including the M6DAC, so in case you're interested, you can check out the review in the link that you can currently see on your screen. Once the charging procedure is started, the red LED next to the battery connector is going to turn red, and once the charging procedure is complete, the LED is going to turn blue, and the action is going to be announced by the charger. As for entering the calibration menu of the M9 charger, it is done by long pressing the roller wheel button while powering it up, and then using this menu, you'll be able to adjust the different options in order to calibrate the charger, save your settings, and if needed, restore them to the default ones. I'm sorry, but I'm running out of voice, and I need to finish this review and rest for a couple of days. Overall, I think that the M9 charger is going to be especially appealing for people who really like to customize their products, so they will appreciate the option to customize the startup screen and the voice menus. However, in my opinion, the voice feature, at least for me, is a little bit gimmicky and I don't really need it. Having that said, this is still a very powerful charger that will enable you to charge multiple batteries simultaneously using a parallel charging board such as this one, but in case you don't really care about having the ability to customize the boot-up screen and voice features, and you don't need the fast charging options, probably going for the Toolkit or M6D is going to be a better option because you will be able to charge two batteries simultaneously without using a parallel charging board, and the output power difference is not that significant. Anyway, the Toolkit or M9 is a pretty impressive and powerful charger. It will enable you to charge most of the battery types that are around for your drones and also fast charge your mobile devices on the go, which in my opinion is a very useful feature that for example does not exist in the M6D charger. I do hope and believe that Toolkit or C are going to release more versions of this charger, probably M9D, a version with a dual battery output, and probably the M9DAC, a version with dual battery outputs and the ability to power the charger using both AC and DC connectors. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.